Hello, this is Techie Doodle Doo, and today we are having a look at this Ryobi chainsaw. This is from the OnePlus series and it is battery powered with a Gildald lithium battery here. So yeah, it is uh, 30 centimeters, this part. So it is a quite tiny chainsaw. <laughs> and uh, if the camera looks here, here you can see the details about how loud it is. And here you can see the part numbers for the blade and also the chain if you want to change those. So yeah, as you can see, uh, I just chopped down two uh, trees behind me here with this chainsaw, uh, which felt great. These are the first uh, bigger trees that I have chopped and they fell just the way I wanted. So I am super pumped. <laughs> so a little bit on how you use this. Uh, first, before use, you should check the level for the oil because this is self lubricating so uh, you want the oil to be above minimum and the way you use this is this is just a security mechanism when you have it uh, that way it is locked the chain is not able to move and you just press it like that and now the chain is able to move so to start it, you have to simultaneously push this button down right here. It's just a simple sliding button and this in. So just like this. I'm going to uh, clean this mess up and then I'm going to tell you what I think about this chainsaw. Can you see how pink the tree is? So this is where we're at now. Uh, we've used 45 minutes. So that's nice. Uh, we've used up two uh, five amper batteries. Uh, we have that little thing left. We need to charge uh, <laughs> a battery to uh, be able to do that. So it'll just lay there to tomorrow, I think. <laughs> So, my opinions on this. Just a disclaimer, this is the only chainsaw that I have used in my life. So, I do not have uh, a lot of experience with different chainsaws, just so that you know that. Um, but I must say, because, you know, I'm a girl and uh, the standard is that uh, we aren't that, as strong as uh, men. And I would say that this is... Uh, this is not too heavy for me at all. Uh, I did not feel like it was heavy or uncomfortable because of the weight. So a uh, very nice chainsaw for anyone, to be honest. 
Uh, of course, if you do have, uh, if you own a huge forest with a lot of trees, you're probably gonna use a bigger chainsaw than this, but this is okay to, uh, to just uh, fix up your backyard like we did. Uh, what more to say? So uh, a lot of times the chainsaw just stopped. Um, I think that was when I uh, chopped the largest pieces of wood. Uh, it didn't get stuck, but it just stopped. Uh, and uh, in those cases, I had to take out the battery like that and insert it back in. And then it would start again. So this is, I think, uh, an issue with the battery, not the chainsaw itself. And uh, you might be able to get some different batteries from Ryobi that doesn't do that. It's probably just a fuse or something in these batteries. Uh, but yeah, we used up two batteries in 45 minutes. But a disclaimer, these batteries uh, are not new. <laughs> so uh, the capacity is probably lower than it was when they were new. Uh, other than that, we, this is our second chainsaw of the same type. We had <laughs> another one that we used just on just a couple of small trees, I think. And uh, when we went to use it again this year, it didn't work at all. Uh, the part inside here didn't rotate at all. So we had to uh, go to the store that we bought it and uh, we received a new one. But this one has worked at least until now. <laughs> uh, just another comment, if you are going to hold it horizontal for a long time, this piece here is not the most comfortable to hold. This is something that I felt when uh, initially chopping down these trees. Uh, because I had to hold it horizontal for a little while. And uh, yeah, it hurt a little bit in my fingers. So um, not the most comfortable if you're going to hold it horizontal for a long time. But other than that, I think it's very nice to use. If you just follow me to the, what are they called? Stumps? I have no idea. These things that are left. Uh, you can see, well, this is probably not the prettiest cut, but again, this is my first time. This tree had a smaller diameter than the blade of the saw, so this one was quite easy. Uh, but this one... So this tree, as you can see, uh, it has a weird shape. Uh, and uh, as you also can see, it has, well, the diameter is very similar to um, the diameter of the blade. So here I had to um, do a little bit of this and then cut a little bit that way, but it went fine. <laughs> so uh, even though you have a tree that is the same diameter as the saw or as the blade on the saw or uh, a little bit bigger also, it seems that this one works just fine. So I think I want to conclude with the fact that I like this chainsaw. I don't feel tired in my arms. I could have done this for several more hours, I think. So uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So now we have stacked up with some firewood for the winter, which is very nice. I don't know about the electricity prices at your country, but uh, <laughs> it's quite high here in Norway, <laughs> quite expensive. And just a little bit of a reminder, use security. Always protect your eyes and your body because uh, wood pieces flies everywhere. You don't want to get them on your naked skin. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. It was so much fun filming. Um, yeah, and please hit the like button if you liked it. Also, please subscribe. We would love to have you as a part of our techie family. And yeah, have a good one.